because it is by grace you're saved through faith. You can never be saved by giving to the poor. You can never be saved by doing good things. You can never be saved by knowing someone. You can never be saved by what you do. It is only by grace through faith that you're saved. And Jesus told us this. It is by grace that you're saved. If only you believe the truth, and there's no other truth than the truth of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Many people say, Jesus is not God. Well, let me shock you today that Jesus is God. And he's going to judge you with your religion. He's going to judge you with everything that you believe in. He's going to judge you even when you pray 10 times a day. He's going to judge you because he's coming as a judging king. That moment is coming. That moment is coming and you're not going to escape from it. Judgment of God is coming. It's just a matter of time. I think you heard them. They said it's just the calm before the storm. And they know what is happening in the world. You're only fooled because you are fooled by the devil because the Bible says the God of this world has, has blinded the minds of the people, the eyes of the people, that they will never see the truth of God and be saved. The God of this world has blinded the eyes of the people. Instead of reading the word of God, people are watching obscene things online. They're on TikTok every day, but they'll never watch anything of God. They're watching football every day, but they'll never read about God. They'll never watch a sermon. They're always saying they are busy ever learning and never coming to the understanding of the gospel people are ever in church but they have never heard the truth of the gospel you never hear anything because you don't understand and you don't want to hear many people are just in churches where they are being lied to you go to these churches total lies and prosperity give to the poor and god will bless you at the end of the day you die and you go to hell what shall it profit a man who gains the whole world and loses his soul? What profit shall a man gain by losing his soul? And you will lose your soul if you love the things of the world. This world is perishing and everything in it is going down. Just like a tsunami, this world is going away. And nothing, nothing will be held back. The only thing which is going to stand is the word of God. The only thing which is going to stand is the word of God. Jesus loves you. That's why you're here listening to us. That's why you're here hearing that message. It was not by a coincidence that you're passing here. Because God knew this day you would be here. And this world is being controlled by Satan. He's controlling all systems and everything. And if you are, you put your faith in the things of this world, then you're most miserable. You're the most to be pitied. But we have our hope in Jesus Christ, who was dead but now he's risen. We have our hope in Jesus Christ. He's the first and the last and he said I've been there from the beginning and whosoever will know me will know peace if you know Jesus you will know peace because Jesus is the Prince of Peace he is the Prince of Peace he's the coming Messiah he's the coming Messiah and he has already promised us much when he comes every eye is going to see him we're going to celebrate we're going to know for sure he's been there with us. So as we finish up, my brothers and my sisters, it's been a pleasure. But for you, you must know one thing. 
that it is appointed for man to die once and after that judgment. And when you die, you must ask yourself, where are you going? Because the days that you're living are the last days. And these last days, they need you to be prepared. If somebody told you there's a thunder coming, there's a, there, there's a group of thieves coming, you must prepare yourself. You must know, do I have what it entails? Do I have what is needed? But if you don't know all that, then how are you going to be prepare yourself? So, as we finish, we want to finish up with a word of prayer. And uh, just thank God for this moment. And also for those who have heard the word of God, we pray with them so that they can be saved. I know there are people out there who have heard this word. And they have decided for sure I've heard everything. Nothing else to be added. I just need to give thanks and tell God what I've understood. All you need to do is just let's bow down our heads and pray. Lord, we thank you. Because Lord, you've heard us. May you save us because you've told us if we believe in you, we will never perish, but we love everlasting life. Lord, may you give us everlasting life. May you give us the peace which comes only by you. May you save us and help us. From today, we have believed that you have died for our sins and you are buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And we believe and our lives will never be the same again. Thank you for saving us, Lord. May you give us your Holy Spirit who will abide with us forever. We pray this believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. We have some gospel tracks if you want. They are free. Tukona vijikarata sivya kweleza watu jinsi ya kukombolewa. Kama unataka unaweza pokea moja ya pure. Azi uzwi. Sisi ya tunashuli na kufanya pia shana. Mungu wa barisi. Brembo, Mambo, go by the key of an